Chinese or different. <laughs> <laughs> How can it get it recorded? It was, that was great. Thank you very much for that. I, was, I mean, when I first saw you, your sound, you like your bio says, you know, very ambient, electro, jungle, drum and bass. You really incorporate a lot of uh, stuff in your music, uh, deep bass. And this little guy, talk to me about this. How long have you been using this? Do you incorporate it in all your sets or just with your, your main gear? Yeah, for the most part, uh, a lot of my stems go from Ableton into this. Um, and then I use this as a effect, pretty much a mixer. So you mix everything in and out. Um, and then sometimes you get fancy and do like some cool stuff to your body, cutting and all that. But mm, majority of the, uh, my sound comes from like this 808 EQ, yeah. if you ever noticed <laughs> that. Um, but yeah, pretty much. So you don't like use Ableton, but right now, today, he's completely gone with it. I mean, you didn't have a laptop. So he plugged everything in here, and he just never ripped. That was fan a fan theory. That was amazing, <laughs> I can say, for me. But talk to me about your future. What are we looking at um, in terms of difference from what we just saw with Eden Gray to what you present in here? So there's this guy on Instagram that I follow. He's a uh, rhythmal dial techno. So he has, like, a lot of these Halberton uh, briefcases, and I see him doing, like, he breaks them apart, and then he makes the, the rails for it. So I asked him for some advice, and I had to drill some holes. Like, some of them, some of them like, I messed up, but I'm not, uh, like, if you look at me, he's kind of crooked. <laughs> but it works. Yeah, it works. <laughs> and it looks like James Bond kind of stuff, so I thought it was cool. Um, but yeah, uh, not all of my modules are in here because it's so small. But a lot of my modules are usually uh, 303 clones or like 101, um, 808 stuff, like Roland stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Or like the original 808, like DR-808. Do you know what that is? I don't know. <laughs> awesome. And, you know, tonight we've had nobody, everybody from Miami. So you're originally from Miami, born and raised? Born and raised here. I lived in California for a long time, so I, I saw a lot of the modular heads over there. It was called the um, Modular on the Spot, so they go out into nature and do like really cool ambient stuff. A bunch of different artists that a lot of people don't know about. But I heard a lot of uh, Derek Basic. He's crazy out there. So I'd follow that whole crew around and like check their sets out and just got really influenced from them. Um, and then I came back here and started doing the art and kind of fell off with it for a bit, but then I started doing this like a couple of years ago again, and then since that. And, you know, what we heard today, is any of that released? Is any on Bandcamp? Was that all freestyle? What did we hear tonight? Did you, pr do you prep? Like, how do you get into the vibe to start to make a show like you did today? So since I was like, made me kind of uh, get into practice of waiting till the last minute and making an hour, <laughs> it's usually like two days of prep work. I just like try to spit out stuff on Ableton and just dump it in here and then incorporate like the other modular stuff with MIDI and all that. But um, like I said, most of my stuff is in, in the production and Ableton. I just sample it into this and then I just drive it and put the effects stuff. And I mean, I've, I have done like, I have samples of breaks and stuff and like different uh, drum kits and stuff where I can chop it up more in here. But it's it's a little more time consuming. I'm just trying to like get it out as quick as possible. So it's usually Ableton. And uh, for 2023, are we seeing anything this year? You got anything in the works? Yeah, this year definitely. I'm releasing a lot of stuff. Um, I've been sitting on stuff for a long time, and I had to like let it go. Like just go. And I don't care like what comes out now. I just gotta like dump it out. Yeah. Otherwise, I could have just did. Because all I do is synth battle, and no one hears that crap. <laughs> Put a kit together, holler at me, holler at me, Phil, you know. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for that, being part of the show. And thank you, everybody here. MCR and Shotgun. I love you guys.